Hey y'all, so Dendrology, we're here looking at this twining vine along Rocky Branch Creek. Um, and so the first thing you want to do is make sure that it is not poison ivy. Um, it is not poison ivy, it is Pueria Montana or kudzu, kudzu vine. Um, another non-native or introduced species, um, introduced actually intentionally. Um, from Southeast Asia. So Pueria Montana or Kudzu is a climbing vine like poison ivy, but I'm not, you know, a couple of things that are key differences with um, with poison ivy, right? So they do have trifoliate leaves, so this leaves of three kind of rule, but Kudzu has got kind of rounded leaf lobes rather than toothed. Um, so it's got this rounded um, rounded lobe here, terminal lobe, right, is kind of, um, can be trilobed as well, and then you've got these kind of rounded leaf, leaflet bases on the leaflet. Um, kudzu is in the Fabaceae, or the pea or bean family, and so it does have this, um, swollen leaf base that is common to all families, all species in the legume family called the pulvini, right? So if you look at the base of leaves um, in the Fabaceae, you can see that it has this swollen leaf base. So, and the rachis of this trifoliate, right, compound leaf is hairy. So that's another character for it. And you can see that um, leaf size is not a good indicator of species, right? So we have some very large leaves here, but we have small ones as well. This is a twining vine. Um, and in fact, this was introduced on purpose um, from Southeast Asia, thought to be helpful for erosion control. You can't see behind me, but I'm along Rocky Branch Creek and the vine is definitely um, controlling erosion. Um, but it also tends to reproduce vegetatively and take over and it basically smothers other plants that are underneath it. So that's how it gets its competitive edge. Um, and it was introduced by the Natural Resources Conservation Service as an erosion control. It's an especially big problem in the mountains of North Carolina. That's where you see the houses that are covered. Um, when it's in a good environment, it can grow up to a foot a day. Um, so it is something that, you know, it, it spreads really rapidly and can kind of take over ecosystems. Um, it doesn't produce viable seeds. I have seen it in flower here in North Carolina. It has these um, bright purple, very unusual flowers um, that smell like grape soda. They're very, very sweet. Um, and so what else? Yeah, so the leaves are fuzzy, but again, you're gonna wanna make sure this is not poison ivy before you start um, feeling the leaf. But these rounded edges and sometimes rounded lobes to the edge is um, indicative. Um, the mature vine, it is a twining vine, so it tends to just grow in spirals very rapidly um, and twines around things. In this case, um, it's twined around a cherry tree, which it is, which has now died. It's been completely smothered. Um, and the mature vine grows and gets darker in color. It does not have those adventitious roots that poison ivy has. So before you go touching this plant and getting really close, you want to look very carefully to make sure that you do have kudzu with its rounded lobes. Um, it does not have adventitious roots to climb, right? Instead, it's a twining vine. And um, then once you're sure that it's not poison ivy, the toothing is quite different as well, right? So we have some, some, with, some of the leaflets have rounded lobes. Um, others are, have a little bit more stronger lobing. Um, and so this is kudzu, a non, um, an introduced species from Southeast Asia. Um, that was introduced for erosion control and has become um, an invasive species um, where it does tend to take over and um, kind of smother other species. So a good species to know um, and one that is pretty abundant in our flora.